Hey, how's it going, friends? My name is Angel Alex. Welcome back to the channel. We are back with some more of Mass Effect 3. We had an amazing start last episode. Of course, Bioware just knows how to get you hyped. At the start of the episode, um, we were thrown into things and the Reapers were attacking Earth. Later, we end up on Mars and are reunited with Ashley and Liara. And Ashley actually ended up getting hurt. So that is why we're here at the Citadel right now. She is being looked at. But uh, we're also here to talk to the Council and Udina. So this is going to be interesting. Um, the, the Citadel looks a lot different already. Um, who is this? But you're on the Normandy, right? I saw it dock. Was last seen on Earth. Oh wait, like, is this? Commander Shepard escape. Oh my God, is this that she bitch? Did. Are you that bitch? What's going on here? Commander, just who I was looking for. Diana Allers, Alliance News Network. I think we can help each other. Okay, this isn't the same I one. Suppose you want an interview? Yeah, yeah, she was. Even better. Interview. I'm a military reporter with the show called Battle Space. We're carried on just about all Council planets. My producers want me embedded on a human ship, and I want that ship to be the Normandy. Why would I want that? Wars can be won or lost in the editing room, and this war needs to be won. I've got Alliance security clearance and operate without a crew. You get veto power over the segments I file. Can you handle an arrangement like that? Or do I keep looking? Let's uh, do a trial run. Tell your producers yes for now. We'll see how it works out. Report to the ship as soon as possible. Any questions? That's weird. How much gear can I bring? One footlocker. Aye, aye, Commander. So we're gonna have somebody following us around with the camera? The Alliance military Interesting. <laughs> That's different. We're just inviting people into our ship. Hmm, war assets acquired. Hmm. This is, uh, it's very different, very different. Alright, let's keep looking around, I guess. Explore a bit. And uh, I definitely want to check up on Ashley too. Make sure she's okay. okay. First deployment is somewhere near. Alrighty, now we're here. Here. Memorial hospital. Yes, we're here at the hospital. Uh, I want to visit Ashley first before I talk to the council. Count council, sorry. Welcome to Serta. Uh, okay. Our first store flowers. Should we buy her some flowers? Organization dedicated to the medical needs of all sapient life. We have money. Is this stuff to decorate our All room? From sales. Go to help new hmm. medical research. Um, I'm I see I wanna buy things, but last time I bought Thank everything, I would end up say. like getting a discount later down the road so it, and then they'd be out of stock of everything. So I think I'm gonna wait to actually purchase something to see if maybe I'll get a discount. Um, but if not then we could come back and buy that. Hello. Hello, Commander Shepard. Welcome to Huerta Memorial Hospital. The Hello. human specialist medical officer in charge is Dr. Michelle. Also, please note that specialists Michelle. for all known Citadel species are on call. Please ensure that you observe proper decontamination protocols at all times while in this area. Any other important areas I should know about? The Normandy is currently docked in D24, which is tagged to your biometrics. Docking bay E24 has been repurposed. She has a different voice this time. I feel like. Accommodate the recent influx of civilians to the Citadel. If you wish Citadel. to contact your species' official Citadel representative, please go to Citadel embassies. The Presidium Commons have been a cultural mainstay since the Council was first established at the Citadel. You can really cover treatment for any kind of species here. Huerta Memorial surpasses all requirements needed for any multi-species medical facility. This facility's attendant levels can also replicate the living conditions needed to accommodate other, more exotic species. Aquatic environments, for example, are available on short notice. What about the medical staff? How do they deal with so many species? All personnel are required to undergo mandatory and regular psychological mm. evaluations, as well as refresher courses. Hospital administration understands how difficult it can be for staff to deal with such a wide variety of patients. It is imperative they be offered the support needed to retain their current high standards. What else is in the area? The Huerta Memorial Hospital has experts from every major race and residency, with many specialists in medicine. Getting to really know this hospital. Medicine. 
The facility works with prestigious medical universities from around the galaxy, offering internships to residents and nurses. With access to cutting-edge technology and support from major pharmaceutical companies, the hospital ensures the best care to its patients. Thank you. Please speak with me again if you require further assistance. All right, so I've, I'm thinking right now, I actually kind of want to buy this flower, because if I can give Ashley something, that'd be nice. Welcome to Serta. Uh, and it's only a thousand. It's not bad. Um. Thank you for coming to Serta. How can we help you? Let's, uh, let's go with the flowers. You can't go wrong with flowers, right? Thank you um, for shopping. Who knows if that'll actually be something we could give to Ashley, or maybe so, even Liara. <laughs> um. I just feel bad, you know. I want to, I want to show my support, give her a little gift. All right. Patient um, stable for now. That was touch and go. Good work, Doctor Freilich. Narrow hmm. splint still the best course of action. Can I walk? Oh, I thought this was glass right here. I don't know why I thought that. Meet you back here. I don't know where I am. Oh, there she is. Oh, the music. Why are you gonna do this to me? You got pretty banged up there, Williams. Had me worried. I just wanted to check in on you. See how you're doing. Despite all this, it's good seeing you again, Ash. No. Don't make me cry. It's rest, okay? I'll come by when you're feeling better. We'll talk. You need anything, Doc? Let me know. Okay, Ash. You take care. Oh. The music. See you bro. soon. It's so sad. I just played Life is Strange. It's gonna make me cry. Man. Oh, see that that okay. Yeah, I'm glad we did that. Got some reputation for it, but also, you know, I just want to be there for her. Oh! Oh my gosh! Shepherd, there her you hair. Are. Was like her hair quest. always like that? Or is she just getting old? I'm working at an alliance R&D lab down in Shelter Woods, coordinating closely with Admiral Hackett. I heard you escaped Earth in the Normandy, and that someone was critically injured. I came as fast as I could. We had a run-in with the Cerberus synthetic on Mars. Ashley took the worst of it. How is she doing? Very well, all things considered. I'm impressed with Lieutenant Commander Williams' resilience, as well as Dr. Michelle's expertise. I wish I could have been there to help on Mars. It's been six months, Doctor. How have you been? Good. I've been fortunate. When they impounded Normandy, the Alliance didn't really know what to do with me. I was never officially part of Cerberus, and I'd gotten a proper leave of absence from my previous post. So you hadn't nice. technically done anything wrong by joining me to defeat the Collectors. Yes, though I suppose if you were judged to be a war criminal, I would have been tried as an accessory. Your place is in Normandy's med bay, not some lab. I couldn't agree more. You say the word and I'm with you. Oh, fuck yeah. I can make these decisions now? Fuck yeah, she's coming. Normandy wouldn't be the same without you, Doctor. Get your things. Docking bay D24. Yes, Commander. And thank you. Oh. Don't thank me so soon. Remember, Joker's still aboard. <laughs> and I'd be surprised if he's been remembering his medication. Oh my goodness. Aww. I'm so- that's so nice we can do that now. We can just come aboard my ship, join the crew. Was around here? Is this her? Yes. Commander Shepard, good to see you. Dr. Michelle. It's oh, Michelle, not Mikkel. You come a long way from that small clinic down in the wards. Because of you, I don't know where I'd be if you hadn't dealt with Fist and his thugs. Now I met physician in a Presidium clinic. You gave me this chance. I assume you're here about Lieutenant Commander Williams? How is Ashley doing? The head trauma was severe, but we reduced the swelling quickly. These types of injury can go either way. She hasn't regained consciousness yet, but her vitals are strong, so I'm optimistic. You can go see her if you like. She's just down the hall. This war may leave a lot of injured people homeless. Can the Citadel clinics care for them all? We're fine now, but I'm worried. Every hospital on the Citadel is preparing for the worst. 
I hear the docks are tightly controlled, but we just can't leave people floating out there forever. How are your medical supplies holding up? We're well stocked now, but I can't say I'm not worried about the future. We've posted guards on our reserves. War profiteering has already begun. With the center of this size, you must have a lot of direct reports. We've got 12 full-time doctors and over 50 support staff. It can be overwhelming, quite different from my days in the wards. Keep up the good work, Doctor. You too, Commander. Alright, I think we're done here. Let's see if we can go talk to the Council. There is no anti-humanity conspiracy here, Ms. Al-Jalani. The Council's simply not granting interviews at this time. My viewers are going to know that CSEC and the Council are denying them access. Listen, lady, you think I like playing gatekeeper between the paparazzi and the politicians? I don't have time to babysit them, and I'm not here to hold your hand. Well, I'm camping out until I'm granted an audience. Fine. I hope you brought a sleeping bag. <laughs> Commander Shepard? Commander, humanity has questions. Heh. <laughs> Damn press. <laughs> See, you're keeping the peace. Yeah, I feel like a glorified doorman. <laughs> Most people would see it as a move up. Wedged in here with all the stuffed shirts? I'd rather be back down on the streets. I appreciate the higher pay grade, but I'm not a political creature. If you didn't want to be up, why'd you accept? You don't say no to Councillor Udina. Well, maybe you would, but I gotta live here. <laughs> I know, squeaky wheel gets the oil, but I didn't lobby for a promotion like some other officers. I'm not even sure why he picked me. I never know with politicians. I hate political BS. Don't lose your edge. You might need it. I oh, wouldn't mind an excuse to get my fingers dirty. <laughs> it's killing me about Earth. You and me both. I haven't been back in years. No, I may never. If this ain't the end of days, it's pretty damn close. No. Oh. All right, got to catch up with Bailey. Commander, Councillor Udina said you'd be coming. If you'll follow me, the council is already in session. We've got our own problems, Councillor. Earth is not in this alone. But Earth was the first Council world hit. By our reports, it faces the brunt of the attack. By your reports. What's going on? The reports are accurate. Earth was attacked by the Reapers. And it's just the beginning. We need your help. Everything you can spare. Each of us faces a similar situation. Even now, the Reapers are pressing on our borders. If we lend you our strength to help Earth, our own worlds will fall. We must fight this enemy together. And so we should just follow you to Earth? Even if we were to unite our fleets, do you really believe we could defeat the Reapers? I don't expect you to follow me without a plan. Counselors. We have that plan, a blueprint, created by the Protheans during their war with the Reapers. A blueprint for what? We're still piecing it together. But it appears to be a weapon of some sort. Capable of destroying the Reapers? So it would seem. The scales. It would be a colossal undertaking. No. I forwarded the plans to Admiral Hackett. The remnants of the human fleet are already gathering resources to begin construction. Our initial calculations suggest it is very feasible to build. If we work together. Have you considered that the Reapers destroyed the Protheans? What good did this weapon do? It was incomplete. There was a missing component, here. Something referred to only as the Catalyst. But they ran out of time before they could finish building it. Do you really believe this can stop the Reapers? Believe in trying. Liara believes it can work and so do I. And while I haven't always agreed with Udina, he's right about this. We need to stand together, now more than ever. The Reapers won't stop it, Earth. They'll destroy every organic being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to stop them. The cruel and unfortunate truth is that while the Reapers focus on Earth, we can prepare and regroup. 
We are convening a summit amongst our species. If we can manage to secure our own borders, we may once again consider Adi. I'm sorry, Commander. That is the best we can do. Shepard, meet me in my office. Will do. I hope that's an offer of support. I'll be digging up what I can on this Prothean device, Shepard. They're a bunch of self-concerned jackasses, Shepard. Turn the club. We may have a spot on the council, but humanity will always be considered second-rate. How can they be so blind? They're scared, and they're looking out for themselves. Our people <sighs> are scared, and we are looking out for them the best we know how. Counselor? Commander, I can't give you what you need, but I can tell you how to get it. I'm listening. Primarch Vidorian called the War Summit, but... We lost contact with him when the Reapers hit Palavan. Those meetings won't proceed without him. The Normandy is one of the few ships that can extract Primarch Fedorian undetected. So far, you've only explained how I can help you. It might seem that way. But the leaders of this summit will be the ones deciding our future. The fate of our fleets, where they fight, and with whom. A grateful Primarch would be a tremendous ally in your bid to unite us. We're at war, and you want me to play politician? If it gets you what you need, what does it matter? <sighs> Our latest intelligence says that the Primarch was moved to a base on Palavan's largest moon. I've done all I can to help. The rest is up to you. There is one other thing. The Council wanted me to tell you. We've chosen to uphold your Spectre status. And various resources will be made available to you. Bet. Good day. Well, I guess. That went well. It's a start. I'll talk to the others in the meantime. See if we can support this summit. Move things along. It's weird having Thanks. him on our side. <laughs> We're usually always fighting with him, I feel like. All right. Commander Shepard. Commander, the people of the Alliance have questions. Commander Shepard, Kalisa bint seen in Al Jalani. Isn't it true that you were on Earth when the Reapers attacked? How do you justify running away while millions of people on Earth die? Is that the best we can expect? I've had enough of your tabloid journalism. Ah, oh, she ducked, come on. You want some? Bitch, let's go. <laughs> I had You're to. Angry. I get that. But I came here to get help for Earth, not answer your questions. Stay down. <laughs> These reporters would never, never do any good. I had to. <laughs> she just learned, man. I don't know. I don't think that's the same one, right? Is that the same one that that uh, we could have punched in the first game? I think I. I think somebody punched her. Jack punched her. In the second game. I'm trying to remember exactly all the reporters that we've had to deal with. I just don't know if that's her. Anyway, she got what she deserved, I feel like. <laughs> What's up, James? Hey, Commander. Liara told me the Council's not interested in helping us. Something like that? <laughs> Why would they? Look at this place. There's no war here. People are whispering about it. They're talking about it. But they don't really believe it. I take it this is your first time here with the elite of the galaxy. I've been to the Citadel, but never up here on the Presidium. It's not right. It looks pretty, calm and peaceful, but it's not right. It's all just an illusion. It was peaceful, once. But was it, really? I mean, when push comes to shove, they're just gonna turtle up. Oh, but don't hit them too, right? They'd rather believe in this than face the truth. I can hardly believe it myself. Like everything back on Earth was some kind of nightmare. Yeah. That's what I hate most. It's like this place wants you to forget that. So, you still want to go back to Earth? Hell yeah, but... But? You were right. So was Anderson. We can't stop them alone. Besides, looks like you're gonna have your hands full convincing these pendejo politicians to help us. <laughs> and I'm up for it. Whatever it takes. Glad to hear it. I'm gonna head down to some of the lower levels where they keep it real. You got some spare time? You should come and find me. Maybe I'll do that. 
I like him. He's no, uh, no Jacob. <laughs> Which is why I like him. Alright, I think we're done here. I think we can go ahead and head back to the Normandy. What the hell? We're seeing shit, dude. I, I said this. What is happening? That kid! We're seeing shit. Dreaming, man. Having some gnarly dreams. Ayara, can I help you? <laughs> we look like I've been drunk. forwarding the Turian counselor information on the Prothean device. It can't be built without council support, but he's not budging until their Primarch is safe. I know. Are you all right? I didn't get what you'd call a good night's rest. There's more to it than that, isn't there? What's really bothering you? Um... When the Reapers hit, I could hear people screaming in the streets below me. We left a lot of them behind. There's no way for you to save them all. But I know you're doing everything you can, and you'll get back there in time to help. I hope you're right. Don't blame yourself, Commander. Commander Shepard? I'm Specialist... Oh. Uh, I, I beg your pardon. I thought you were alone. I was just leaving. Commander Shepard, I'm Comm Specialist Samantha Trainer with Alliance R&D. I was part of the team retrofitting the Normandy after you turned it over to the Alliance. Gotcha. There weren't many of us aboard when the Reapers hit. Slow down, Specialist Trainer. You're doing fine. Thank you. I worked in a lab. I never thought I'd be serving on a ship. No. She wants to tell me about Miranda, the her accent. <laughs> the ship's in line with Alliance regs now, and it has new, top of the line, quantum entanglement communicators. In fact, Admiral Anderson had intended to use the Normandy as his mobile command center. That's no longer an option. Yes, I heard he chose to stay and fight. I in any event, I'm honored to serve under you, Commander. For as long as you need me, that is. They only sent me here to oversee the retrofits. Shepard, some of our systems require further testing, and Specialist Trainer has been extremely effective during installation. I would prefer that she remain. Got it, Edie. Oh, wait, since when does a virtual intelligence make requests? Edie's an AI. Fully self-aware. Oh, I knew it. I knew Joker was lying. <laughs> Fucking Jeff Joker. requested that I pretend to be a simple VI to protect myself. I apologize for the deception. Thanks, E.D. And I apologize for all those times I talked about how... Mm, attractive your voice was. Uh, uh, anyway, shall I give you a tour? I think you'll be impressed by the new upgrades. Hell yeah. Please. 
Please. In the CIC, you'll find the galaxy map where you can set the Normandy's destination. You can also check your messages at your private terminal. Oh, the that's war room houses a strategic command center for mission-specific intel and war analysis. Cool. The shuttle bay contains an armory where you can modify your equipment between missions. Finally, Liara has set up a lot of hardware down in the old XO office on deck three. I think she's claimed that room. <laughs> and there Sweet. you are. Still the same ship as before, it just flies Alliance colors now. Speaking of which, I believe Admiral Hackett would like to speak to you at the VidCon. All right. Getting used to things again. Commander. Udina updated me on your meeting with the Council. Sounds like they're running scared. We did present them with a lot of unknowns. They're feeling threatened and want immediate solutions, not theories. Theories are all we've got right now. What's your plan? I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch for a summit meeting with the Asari and Salarians. I'll bypass the Council and appeal directly to their leadership. That's good, I like it. This is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. Then build alliances. Gather everything and everybody you can for the cause. What about the Prothean device? Find me people who can help build it, and if you can't, I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies, whatever you can get. We need to keep hitting the Reapers across every theater of war they open. Buy us time to figure out the device. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pool all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device, when the Reapers are most vulnerable. The stronger you can make that armada, the better the chances of punching through. What about Earth, sir? We'll just have to hope Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces can hold out until we've dealt with the enemy. Jesus. I understand. Good. Then make it happen, Commander. I'll be expecting regular updates on your progress. Hack it out. Hack it out. Alright, um, let's explore. This is all so new and different. Whoa, where am I? I can actually see the. Okay. Engineering. Okay, we shuttle bay. We got four floors here, I think, right? Five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Well, let's explore. Talk to the crew. Uh, nothing I can really do here. Got a war terminal. The people, weapons, armies, and fleets that you've accumulated over your are your war assets. The overall readiness of the galaxy determines how effectively uh, these assets will perform in the final battle. Total military strength, so the minimum. Okay. So this is kind of like ship upgrades, like in the last game. That affected the the end, I feel like. Um, alliance. First fleet, third fleet, Diana. Mineral resources. Um... Your mind is a rifleman. This is interesting. All right, so is this just letting us know how we're doing with our war assets? I can't really mess with anything, it seems. I think. Okay. I got a model. <laughs> There's a ladder here. Alright. We got a table that we really can't do much with. <laughs> Alright, let's keep looking. I can't believe the council won't help. Come on, Sarah. If Thestia was lost and Earth hadn't been touched yet, you can be damn sure we'd be guarding our own borders. Weird. This is a little different. <laughs> Commander, the Alliance has found a new Cerberus lab on Sanctum. 
Admiral Hackett would like you to investigate. Gotcha. So, uh, is she our- I guess she's our new Kelly. We got our private terminal here. Emails. Special ops. Okay, gotta, I'm gonna read these. Wait a second, we have a dog? This guy's just gonna leave his dog with us. I'm all the way out in Ter Teria? Terrera? Nova? Nova? Now, and would hate for you guy for you to go a million clicks out of your way to drop off my dog. Please just take care of her. She likes exploring, sniffing, chemical trails. What the hell? This first off, this guy's a, kind of a shitty owner. <laughs> just to drop his dog off. Second, or her, I Andrea. Um, second, I'll take it. <laughs> uh, I promise she won't be too much of a headache, dude. We're totally. Totally checking out this dog. <laughs> All right, got a couple of gifts and upgrades and just messages. Uh, oh, hi. Oh. <laughs> it's very quiet this time around. Let's go have a talk with Joker. Hey, Commander. You know I had my doubts about the Council. But after years of ignoring your warnings, they're finally willing to step up and tell you they just can't help. <laughs> they're doing everything they can. Do they at least validate our parking? <laughs> well, let me know if you want me to get them on the channel and then hang up on them. You know, for old time's sake. <laughs> oh, I love him. Oh, what's over here? Oh, that's the airlock. Can I go in there? Uh, just for shits and giggles, I think. <laughs> What is this? What is this? People that work for Alliance? Oh, Caden's on here. Oh, these are people that have died. Jenkins is on there. Presley. Let's try our best not to add any more names to this list. Oh, this is where Thane would be. I'll take that. It's quiet. It's very quiet on the ship today. Makes sense. There's not a lot of people here. Oh my gosh, they have a game? They have poker? We're totally playing some poker. What is this? Alright, some of this is starting to look a little bit the same. Oh, now this used to be Miranda's office, but now it's Liara's. Shepard, oh. it's a pleasure to see you again. This guy. You're the drone from the Shadow Broker ship. Dr. Tassoni now refers to me as Glyph instead of Info Drone 95% of the time. Glyph. If okay. you have a moment, I'd like to draw your attention to a terminal in her office. Gotcha, gotcha. It analyzes information packages. If you find any useful data, I can research upgrades for you. Oh. And what should I be looking for? I'll inform you if you found relevant data. When you do, return to this terminal for your choices. In the meantime, Dr. Tassoni would like to speak with you. Have a pleasant day. Okay. Uh, hi. The council didn't go too well, huh? It was less than ideal. Yeah, I'm shocked. At least the council can't deny the Reapers exist. But I'm not sure how much comfort that is while they bicker over which portion of the galaxy to save. Liara. I like it. I'm flattered. I think. <laughs> Looks like you brought more than just that drone from your ship. <laughs> a few things were necessary. I'd be a very silent shadow broker without data feeds. So you have access to your resources? What I can get. We'll need it to research this Prothean device. Until we understand precisely what it does, it's far too dangerous to use. Did the Protheans actually complete this weapon? You mean, will it work? They wouldn't have poured their last resources into this device if they thought otherwise. But we really need to find out just what kind of weapon they left us. It'd be nice to know we're not kids playing around with a loaded gun. Absolutely. The damage it could cause if it backfired is unthinkable. This will be difficult even for us. 
If something happens on a mission, if either one of us are hurt, I'll always remember that tour of the Normandy. But let's be honest, Shepard, it's been more than a half a year. Should we continue where we left off? Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> I'd like that more than anything, Liara. She's just getting right into it. Okay. Good. I was getting worried. There were a lot of reasons that was I was happy very to quick. see you on Mars. I'd like that list, but later. There's so much left to do. I'm working with Edie. Hopefully we can discover what the Protheans left for us. But I'm looking forward to talking about something other than business. Maybe later. Okay. Maybe later, she says. That's great. Uh, well, I guess we're back with Liara already. <laughs> that was so quick. I was expecting some dramatic scene about that, but that's that's totally found me. All right, let's look at these upgrades. Um, none. Great. Uh, armor mod kit, shield strength, and ammo capacity. Let's. Uh, does it matter? What I choose? What it doesn't say it takes anything, does it? Use mod kit to upgrade your shields. Use mod kit to upgrade your thermal clips capacity. Look at Tali up there. Um. Shields. Okay. Hmm. So I guess I have to acquire mod kits to upgrade certain things. Is that is that my understanding that right? She has a very comfy looking bed. I can't wait to lay in it. <laughs> Whoa! The monitors move with you. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Look at that. Hey. <laughs> Uh, can we broke This terminal contains non-essential correspondence from your allied forces. Dr. Tassoni has granted you access. Oh, how nice. Hello again, Shepard. Alright, I can actually talk to her a lot. Let's how much do you know about this Prothean artifact? Very little. We're fortunate enough data survived to piece together the blueprints. Decoding them will require as many specialists as we can find. Ooh, those monitors are bright. I'd have killed for a glimpse of it during graduate school. You brought your little helper with you? <laughs> its name is Glyph. It helped sort through all the data that led me to the archive on Mars. It was a pleasure to be of assistance, Doctor. Glyph's interfaced with the data feeds. Its analytical software should come in handy. What's been happening with you as the broker, Liara? It's been exciting. The old broker's ship. Impressive, but it was never meant to be space-worthy. Which meant the elusive man eventually tracked me down on Hagalaz. Ooh. What happened? I knew he was coming. Ferran and I loaded as much of the ship's specialized hardware onto a shuttle as we could. We got away from Cerberus' ships after arranging an appropriate distraction. What kind of distraction? Sending the broker's ship exploding into a Cerberus cruiser. Oh, how I don't fun. think the elusive man expected me to give up my resources in such a spectacular fashion. <laughs> Can you still operate as the broker without the ship? Well, I couldn't let the elusive man have it. I saved what was crucial. My network of agents is intact, although the Reapers have taken a toll on their numbers. It's taking a while to re-establish contact. So where is Ferron if you two escaped? He convinced me he was recovered enough to work. And I do need more agents. Agent Farron didn't report any injuries during his last call to you, Doctor. True. Given what he survived, I should probably worry less. Hmm. Alright, uh, what's new? What have you been up to since we last saw each other? Since you helped me defeat the Shadow Broker, I started looking for defenses against the Reapers. The Protheans were the only ones with substantial information on them. The older civilizations barely had records. I knew the elusive man was hunting for the same thing when our agents began crossing paths. Like on Mars. I thought I'd covered my tracks, but he had surveillance there all along. All right, well, I'll we'll see talk you later. later. Liara. Of course. I'm glad she's actually on the ship now. I feel like she's part of the game now. Please. <laughs> I mean, I know she's supposed day. to be like a DLC in two, but uh, it's nice not having her just as a DLC. Commander. Commander. Everything okay down here, Doctor? The Alliance team cleaned up and restocked, but it's still my old med bay. <laughs> Feels like home. That's great. Welcome back. Thank you. Let's waste no time. If I may, I'd like to examine you. Uh, what? Nothing wrong with me, is there? 
No, but we should keep an eye on all those cybernetic implants Cerberus grafted into you. Oh, yeah, you're right. Expensive stuff bringing me back. And worth every penny. Let's just make sure everything is okay. I guess a checkup never hurts. Just no scalpel this time, Doc. Alas, to my great disappointment, it is nothing invasive. I'm just going to run some diagnostics on your implants, and it'll take a few readings. Good. Your implants are showing little sign of rejection. Just keep up that positive outlook of yours, Commander, and your scars shouldn't return. That's it. You're the picture of health. <laughs> How's your inventory of meds? The med bay was fully stocked before you left Earth. We should be good for a long time, even given the amount of fire you take each day. Do you ever regret working for Cerberus? We didn't work for them. We used them. If she I even anything, knows. <laughs> it would be guilt. We took their money, took their best people, took their best ship. Damn. Yeah, we kind of did. We used them to defeat the Collectors, and now we are using their resources against them. So no, I don't regret it <laughs> one bit. I like her. You've never mentioned any of your family. None to speak of, really. I'm the last of a prestigious line of medical professionals. The Alliance is my spouse, and you're all my children. Aww. I'm blessed with many close friends. But with each Alliance vessel taken, I lose one or two. We need to end this war. I'll see you around, Doctor. Take care, Shepard. <laughs> cool, cool. What is this? Oh, I can reset my powers, the R's and James powers. And power bonuses. Ah, eventually I'll get some power bonuses, okay. Nice, nice. I feel like everything's more organized over here. What is this? Oh shit, this is that thing. That thing that attacked Ashley. Alright, I guess we'll come back to that. <laughs> All my old models are down here, I guess. <laughs> Somebody had to pack them away. Oh, do we not have- oh. Who's this? Commander, welcome back to the Normandy. Or maybe you should be saying that to me. Engineer Adams, what are you doing here? I was put in charge of the Drive Corps retrofits. My experience on the Normandy SR-1 made me an obvious choice. So, what do you think of our SR-2? She's incredible. If there's one nice thing I can say about Cerberus, it's that they know how to build a ship. And about that, Cerberus, I mean. I owe you an apology. How so? Back when you got this ship, Dr. Chalk was contacting me, asking me to help with your mission against the Collectors. I refused. I didn't have your back, and I'm sorry for that. Why didn't you join us? I saw what happened to you when the Normandy went down. I didn't trust that it was really you, and I certainly didn't trust Cerberus. Also, as an officer of the Alliance, I don't just leave my post, you know? Your Alliance first. That's the way it should be. Thank you, Commander. Glad to be aboard. Is your family okay? My parents are serving on Viridian Zenith, an Alliance agricultural vessel. My sister is a navigator on the SSV Benjamin Davis. Happy to report that both vessels are safely under Hackett's command. Does the new Normandy stack up to the old SR-1? <laughs> stack up? It blows the old ship away. The Tantalus <laughs> Drive Corps has been completely overhauled. The SR-2 might be nearly twice the size, but the new drive core is three times bigger. This ship can fly. That said, Cerberus isn't too high on safety. If pushed past her limits, this core would vent into engineering. Guess it gives my team incentive to keep her well balanced during a firefight. Good to know. Do your job or get vaporized. <laughs> Pretty much. I noticed you upgraded the kinetic barriers with cyclonic technology. Should help reduce the draw when under missile fire. Hopefully that means fewer vaporized engineers. The IES stealth system is significantly improved. It can handle a higher blue shift of our emissions. And that means? We should be able to drop out of FTL without triggering every sensor in range. Very handy for stealth reconnaissance. All in all, the Normandy is a marvel of engineering. Is it... Did I ask him about the Normandy? Does the new Normandy stack up to the old yeah, SR-1? Yeah, I did. That's what we just talked about. <laughs> stack up. Yeah, okay. That's it. I was like, because I, th I didn't. We talked so much that I didn't even. All in all, the Normandy is. Realized that we had moved on from his family. Okay. What Edie. do you think of Edie? 
We had a good talk during the retrofit. A little strange at first, talking shop with an AI. AI? I thought Edie posed as a VI to keep the likes of you from unplugging her. <laughs> yeah, but I saw through her. Have you seen her hardware? Processing power is off the charts. And then there were the problems that kept fixing themselves. If I hadn't had her pegged, I would have sworn I was losing it. You never expressed any skepticism, Lieutenant Adams. His eyes. I figured I'd better play it safe with the Cerberus AI, Edie. No offense. None taken. As long as you keep your fingers out of my cognizance processors. <laughs> In the beginning, I tried disconnecting her from key processes without giving myself away. Easier said than done. But Joker seemed to trust her. And in time, I saw her advantages. Even grew to like her. All right, carry, carry on. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, ma'am. I've yet to say I should go. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, oh here you go. I miss. How's your new assignment working out, Allers? Fairly normal, except for the unshackled AI, Matriarch Benezia's daughter, and the communicator that can reach Earth. A communicator? The first two, I can deal with. That last one gets my attention. So what are you asking for, exactly? Anything from Earth is the lead story right now. That's not opinion, it's fact. Maybe I can pass on a few non-classified progress updates. Seriously? You just doubled my ratings. I don't need FaceTime, just a data upload. <laughs> Tell people what's really happening on Earth. We need long recruiting lines on every planet after you air a story. I can do this, Commander. Remind me to tell you about the time I made an Elcor cry. <laughs> uh, can we talk to her more? Commander. Nope. Commander. <laughs> we can't even go in, in, in Grunt's old room. It's locked. Why would they do that to us? Alrighty, uh, this is the new area, the shuttle bay, I believe it's called. We have a weapon bench. Organize our loadout, and can we- yeah, we can modify our weapons now. Let's see here, let's modify the shotgun. Shredder mod. Hmm, interesting. I could put two? Wait, what does this do? Confused. It doesn't make any sense. I couldn't do two, right? High caliber- a shredder mod and high caliber. Wait, hold on. Oh no, I could do both. Okay, so that and then two. Is that- is that right? Yeah. Okay. Confirm. There we go. Uh, I can modify the sniper. Extended barrel. Let's do that. Submachine gun. Ooh, cool. Reduces weapon sway. I'll take that. Alrighty. Weapon upgrades. Improved weapon damage. Okay. Ammo capacity. Okay. Buy meta gel upgrades. Buy shotgun, pistol, sniper rifle. Mods. By weapon and armor. Uh, okay. Open store. Whoa, this is expensive. Okay. Oh, the Inferno armor. Okay, I gotta buy all this shit again? <laughs> oh, wow. So, wait. We get access to all the stores. Oh, that's so nice. Oh my god, that's so much easier. It's like, you know, ordering online. <laughs> uh, we got our armor locker here. Let's, let's take a look at what we're dealing with. We got Cerberus armor, gross. And then just the regular armor. Casual. <laughs> nice, nice. Typical, what's this? 
It's Cerberus, I guess. But look, it has the Alliance logo. It's just yellow. It's different. And then the hoodie. And then ugly dress. Alright. All of them are ugly except for this one. <laughs> Alright, we got our old armor. Uh, oh no, just, I guess it's just that one. We don't have all of our old armor, it seems. Yeah. We got some new gauntlets. That's pretty cool. Oh wow, okay. We can actually, like, pick... We got, like, shades of colors now. Interesting. Could be a Power Ranger. Let's go black and blue. Looks pretty cool. Lights. Change the color of the lights. Again, that's really cool. Uh, let's go with white. Nice. Got the alliance colors. Alright, I like that. Wait a sec. Is this the dog? What's, what's the deal with the dog? Is he asleep? Lieutenant Steve Cortez, shuttle pilot. Got news about our supply chains, Commander. Nice to meet you, Lieutenant. What's going on? <laughs> What's Sorry up? to just jump in, Commander. There's so much to be done, I get caught up in the tasks at hand. He's always like that. You need to chill out, Esteban. <laughs> so you do care, Mr. Vega? Or is that the Cerveza talking again? So what's happening with our supply chains, Lieutenant? Alliance procurement chains are in chaos, but the Citadel's economy is still running. I can network to Citadel retailers. You can view inventory and make purchases right from this console. When I network to a new store, I'll let you know. It does cost more to coordinate delivery to the Normandy, so it's cheaper to buy supplies when you're there. So, you're my shuttle pilot, but you're setting up procurement chains? I wasn't assigned as Normandy's pilot. Not much need for one on a dry dot ship. I was overseeing the retrofit of the cargo hold. I'm quite familiar with the operation and maintenance of the UT-47 Kodiak and the M-44 Hammerhead. In my experience, it made sense for me to take over as shuttle pilot when we left Earth. Especially given Mr. Vega's love of mid-air collisions. <laughs> to save the day, pendejo! I'm also responsible for logistics, making sure the armory and shuttle are properly stocked and maintained. How long have you been with the Alliance? About ten years. I enlisted in First Fleet serving on the SSV Hawking, flying F-61 Tridents mostly. I love the Trident. Practically dances in low atmo. I spent as much time tinkering on my bird as flying her. Got a bit of a reputation. So you can fly fighters and fix them? Yeah. And I got a knack for procurement, too. They were grooming me for CAG, but my skill set made me more valuable commanding a flight deck. They assigned me to the Normandy retrofit team about five months ago to oversee all cargo bay modifications. What happened to the M44 Hammerhead? <laughs> it was sent to the tech labs for a retrofit. To afford mobility with such a small ESO core, its design sacrificed armor plating. The lab engineers are trying to improve that. After the Reaper invasion, those labs are probably just a pile of rubble. The Kodiak seems a bit different. Good eyes, Commander. This is the UT-47A Kodiak. It's got an upgraded Ooh. ESO core and prototype stealth technology based on the Normandy design. For quick drops, I can get you in and out virtually undetected. She flies like a brick, so that's why you need a good pilot. I like how we're highlighting all these little things that we didn't really ever talk about in the other, the other games. You were stationed on Earth. Do you have family there? I'm an only child. Lost my parents years ago. Aww. I had a husband back when I was stationed at Ferris Fields. The collectors took out the whole colony. Jesus. I'd rather not talk about it. Oh my gosh, I feel for him. Do you maintain this armory? I share that duty with our illustrious Mr. Vega. <laughs> Though I believe the only weapon he really cares to maintain is himself. <laughs> you know you love the show, Esteban. <laughs> <laughs> The first retrofit we did was to move the armory down from deck two. I'm not sure what Cerberus engineers were thinking. Now you get off the elevator, pick your gear, and head right into the shuttle. Just like the original Normandy. <laughs> Welcome back to the Alliance, Commander. Alrighty. Guess we're done here. Keep up the hard work, but don't kill yourself. <laughs> yes, Commander. I like him. He's my favorite so far. Okay. Um... Can I talk about- can we talk about this dog, please? There's a dog. Anybody else see that dog? I got a robot dog. Is there like a- a toy? Does he like- like chewy toys? Like, you know? Uh, let's talk with James. 
Hey, Shepard. <clears throat> How'd it go with the council? <clears throat> Same Discuss. as usual. Non-committal. Unhelpful. I like how we're... Bet they still wanted you to help them out, no? <clears throat> yep. We're going to rescue a Turian Primarch from Palavan. <sighs> Sounds like fun. Never been to the Turian homeworld. <sighs> you come down here for something? Or are you just looking? <sighs> I'm looking now. I don't need a reason. Uh, I don't want to make it sound like I'm looking at him. I don't need it's a reason. my ship. I go where I want and talk to whoever I want. <laughs> Fair enough. <clears throat> Not sure what there is to talk about. <clears throat> you already know my service record. I don't, actually. I didn't have access to personnel records when we met. Right. Forgot about that. Is he done? Did we have like a conversation? No. Well, <laughs> there we go. He's done. Think you can dance and talk at the same time? Oh, let's do it. Oh, I can dance. <laughs> okay, Lola. Let's do this. The fuck? The hell's Lola? Don't let my good looks fool you, Vega. I got my share of scars. Oof. Fuck yeah. Fuck him up, Shepard. <laughs> you remind me of my old CO. <laughs> oh, yeah? And who was that? Captain Tony. He was a hard-ass son of a bitch, but a good leader. Oh, shit. <sighs> nice. What do you mean, was? Died. With most of my squad. Protecting a civilian colony from a collector attack. And the colony? It was either them, or the intel we had on the collectors. Intel we could have used to destroy them. I chose the intel. Sorry. That's a tough call. The best part was, we didn't really need the intel in the end. Because you were out saving the galaxy by taking down the entire Collector homeworld. You didn't know. You can't blame yourself, Vega. Who says I'm blaming myself? Just a guess. You a shrink, too? No, but that stunt back on Mars was reckless. You're lucky to be alive. <laughs> so? So, maybe you don't care if you live or die. Or maybe. <laughs> I'm just willing to do whatever the fuck it takes to end this goddamn rule. Maybe you are. But if you're half as good as I think you are, we need you alive. Thanks for the pep talk. Anytime. Hey. Thanks for the dance, Lola. Lola, huh? You kind of look like a Lola. What the fuck? You're cute. So I'll let you get away with it. For now. That's it. Now you made me blush. I wasn't trying to flirt with him. I was just trying to like... Okay, sure. You want to call me a nickname? Fine. <laughs> Uh, that was interesting. Okay. Why can't I talk to this doggo? I guess he's just knocked out. <laughs> Alright, let's head back up. Uh, let's check out our cabin because we re really didn't get to look at it. Oh, it's pretty much the same. Oh, we can actually collect a lot more ships this time. Where'd my space hamster go? Uh, where is my space hamster? Where are all my fish? What the hell, game? Customize my armor up here. Got music. I'm sure. Right? Oh, yeah. Sound system. My uh, helmet's gone too. Hmm. Okay. Well, not much to do up here then. Alrighty. Um, I don't really know. There are some of you guys talking a lot about the mission order, and I'm not exactly sure. I'm assuming priority is what we got up focus on is the main missions uh, and then the rest are side side missions does it matter what order we do things should I not focus on main quests should I just do side quests 
for now and then move like should I w how should I tackle this does it matter this time around a lot of you guys are making it sound like it really matters how you do certain things but uh, I guess for now we can head to the first priority all right let's use this map conquered systems clusters already conquered by the Reapers can be accessed using the Normandy stealth drive search these clusters for survivors salvage and valuable intel okay wow so I feel like a lot of you like I said a lot of you guys are mentioning um, timed quests so I guess this will affect it how long it takes me to do certain things uh, I'm not exactly sure um, I don't know where to go here we go Primark Search and rescue. The Normandy is equipped with a new and improved scanning pulse that can detect objects of interest. Use this to uncover war assets, artifacts, intel, and fuel as you fly around a system. Be aware, however, that each time the pulse is used, the chance that, re the, the chance that Reapers will enter the system to investigate is increased. Wow, that's different. If a Reaper enters the system, you are in fleet and wait until you have completed. A mission before returning okay wow so we got to be careful scanning so can we not like can we still probe no we can't even probe huh we got fuel depots right here oh l2 is the scan i'm a little scared to scan right now so I'll just uh i'll just wait for now All right, our squad, the only people that we have, cycle appearances. Whoa! Oh, dang. Chill out, Liara. I like it, I like it. Uh, let's go with that one. Wait, hold on a second. Oh, pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, now we can actually choose our loadouts. Okay, gotcha, this is a little different. Uh, a lot of you guys are saying to pay attention to the power recharge speed. Um, I'm not exactly sure the best route is for this, but let's get rid of... I don't really snipe a lot. I feel like I could get rid of this. And that'll, that'll make a difference. And let's move the submachine gun here, maybe? Oh, I can't even move. Okay, I can only have the small guns on my waist. Shotgun, pistol. Maybe I'll get rid of the pistol. So let's go. Oh, okay. So I can't even choose where. That's kind of that kind of sucks. I can only have pistols on this end. I can only have shotguns. And okay, kind of wanted to have like shotgun and submachine gun. You know what I'm saying? But that, that's fine. Okay, well let's equip the shotgun and then the submachine gun. Let's see, and then with the pistol, it's, yeah, let, let's keep it like that. Let's just see how it goes. More Cerberus, it looks like. It gives me chills how big those ships are. military in the galaxy and the reapers are obliterating it was it like this on earth yes Shepard I'm so sorry yeah commander the LZ's getting swarmed 
James, open that hatch. Look at the landing zone. This is pretty badass. Alright you guys, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't yet. Check out all the links down in the description if you're interested in the gear I use, and I'll see you guys in the next video.